Our main focus is wheat pasture. Um, we try to, to have cattle grazing on it through the cool season and we use it as a cool season forage. That is our plan. We'll take them all through graze out or we'll turn it into a bale of hay. We thought that we had uh, our wheat found and that the uh, uh, germ test would be good and it ended up not being so we went with another route and that was our, our quickest route was to go to oats. Oats, you know, is a really good rescue crop. It, it's one of the fastest growing crops as far as the small grains that we have available to us. Uh, we can get a tremendous amount of growth in a short amount of time. For us this year, it was a catch-up crop. We were uh, or a make-up crop. Very clearly, we did not do this the right way. We, we didn't plant it right. We didn't have our ground necessarily prepared, but the oats recovered from it. Um, we were pushed in front of a rain, and we were afraid that we would be in a cycle where we might be two weeks where we wouldn't be able to get back into the field again, and then not have a chance to have that early grazing. So we got lucky. We had a tremendous amount of growth. They grew a lot faster than our wheat did, and we were able to stock these acres a lot heavier than we were our wheat acres. Oats are the most palatable of our small grains. Um, cattle will, or other livestock will prefer those over uh, rye and wheat and, and uh, nearly everything else. They're really high in protein, uh, very similar to wheat pasture, you know, 25 to 30 percent crude protein, and uh, the uh, when when it's just leaf, whenever it starts getting mature, you know it it'll get down into the lower 20s and and upper teens. Uh, the problem is it's not winter hardy. Uh, this this has been tromped pretty hard with the wet weather that we've had since Christmas. Uh, it needs some time to recover. We've we've had some uh, freeze damage from it uh, that we wouldn't have had if we would have had wheat pasture, but. This one, this time, and I'm not going to say it's going to be every time, but this time the oats, we were able to uh, stock considerably heavier. We stocked about 700 pounds of the beef to the acre. We're not through the growing season yet. Clearly, um, the calves are catching the oats right now. If we can get to March, then we've, we've essentially doubled our stocking rate. Been looking at uh, getting anywhere from 2.4 to 2.8 pound gains on cattle. Uh, we shipped some a uh, week or so ago. We can't complain with how the production has been. You know, they when they were able to get cattle out, they were at, in more than double what we would see in, in a lot of wheat pasture situations. And you know, cattle gaining two point, you know, four to or two point five to three pounds a day is is really outstanding for that amount of livestock to to have on the field. My dad told me a long time ago. He said, "Dust wheat in, mud oats in." We've had a pretty muddy year, so uh, it worked. <laughs>